The Leopard 2A7A1 is an upgraded version of the Leopard 2A7, fitted with Trophy Active Protection System APS. In 2021 Germany signed a contract to purchase the Israeli Trophy Protection Systems for its Leopard 2A7V tanks. Upgraded tanks received a Leopard 2A7A1 designation. Initially only a company of 17 tanks will be upgraded to this standard for the NATO Very High Readiness Joint Task Force. Some sources report that in 2021 at least some of these new tanks were delivered to German Army. Raphael expects procurement of additional trophy systems from Germany. Older Leopard 2A4 tanks can be upgraded to similar configuration as all upgrades are modular. Sometimes protection system of the Leopard 2A7A1 is being referred as Eurotrophy. Currently the Leopard 2A7A1 is among the best main battle tanks in the world. The Trophy APS was designed to provide additional protection for tanks against incoming anti-tank rockets and missiles. In some cases it might also provide protection against incoming high-explosive anti-tank shells. This system uses a fire control radar with four flat panel antennas mounted on the vehicle for a 360-degree field of view. The Trophy has a brief reaction time. When an incoming rocket or missile is detected the internal computer calculates its approach vector as well as optimal time, and angle to fire countermeasures. A number of small explosively formed projectiles are housed in two rotating launchers, that are installed on the sides of the vehicle. Once launched these defensive munition explode and form a very tight and precise cloud of explosive shrapnel, that is aimed at the incoming threat. Incoming rockets and missiles are destroyed before they hit the tank. Though this system does not protect the tank against kinetic energy threats, such as the armor-piercing fin stabilizers discarding Sabo munitions. These munitions travel too fast for the system to intercept. This trophy was designed to have a very small kill zone in order not to endanger infantry next to the tank. This system can simultaneously engage several threats arriving from different directions. The trophy passes information about the direction of attack to tank crews. This allows to identify enemy location and attack the launch position, thereby providing greater survivability. The trophy is used on Israeli tanks for a number of years. It saw action during various clashes. Israeli tanks fitted with this system survived multiple anti-tank rocket and missile attacks. Since its introduction this system demonstrated 100% success rate in various terrain and combat conditions. Defeated threats include RPG-29 anti-tank rockets and Cornet and Metis M anti-tank guided missiles. Also so far the trophy is the most commercially successful and widely used system of its type with over 1,800 units produced by 2022. The trophy APS costs around $900,000 to integrate on main battle tank. After addition of the trophy the upgraded Leopard 2A7A1 weighs around 65T. There are many problems related to excessive weight such as limited top speed, limited cross-country mobility, limited areas where the tank can be deployed. Also it is more complicated to transport the tank to the front line. The Leopard 2A7A1 retains the same Renmetal 120mm L55 smoothbore gun as its predecessor. The same gun is also used on the Leopard 2A6. This gun demonstrated its accuracy on long ranges. It is loaded manually and is compatible with all standard NATO 120mm tank ammunition. This tank can fire newly developed DM-11 programmable multi-purpose high explosive ammunition. These rounds can be used to engage targets behind cover and within buildings. The DM-11 rounds can be used against troops, vehicles, and helicopters. A total of 42 rounds are carried inside the tank. Ready-to-use ammunition includes 15 rounds that are stored in the turret bustle. Remaining rounds are stored inside the hull. There is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and remotely controlled weapon station, with a 12.7mm machine gun. The Leopard 2A7A1 tank is well protected and provides high level of protection against various threats. It has a welded steel armor construction with composite armor over the front arc. The tank is additionally fitted with passive composite armor kit with the latest generation of passive armor. It seems that it uses new materials, including nanoceramics and allows made of titanium and steel. This add-on armor offers 360 protection against RPG rockets. Damaged armor modules can be easily replaced in field conditions. 
the Leopard 2A7A1 tank withstands mine blasts and improvised explosive devices. The tank is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression system. The tank has a panoramic commander's sight with thermal imaging system of new generation. Commander normally searches for targets and delegates all firing procedures to the gunner. Fire control system is also capable of automatic target detection and tracking. Commander and gunner also have cameras for long-range surveillance. There is a 360 local situational awareness system and laser warning system. The tank is fitted with advanced command and control equipment and battlefield management system. There are front and rear thermal image systems for the driver. These allow to drive at night in adverse weather conditions and different battlefield environment. The Leopard 2A7 is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The Leopard 2A7A1 is powered by an MTUMB 873KA501 turbocharged diesel, developing 1500 horsepower. This engine is used since the introduction of the original Leopard 2 tank in 1979. By modern standards this engine is rather bulky, but it recommended itself well. This engine is reliable and fuel efficient. Engine is mated to an automatic transmission. Due to excessive weight of the tank maximum road speed is just 60 km per hour. There is a steer auxiliary power unit, which powers all systems when the main engine is turned off. The tank can be fitted with a front-mounted dozer blade for self-entrenching and clearing routes. Mine plows of mine rollers can be also attached. The Leopard 2A7A1 can be airlifted, however there are no suitable military transport aircraft in service with the German Air Force. This tank is too heavy for the German Airbus A400M. However it can be carried by the USC-17 Globemaster III. Germany no longer builds new hulls for this tank, but instead refurbishes and upgrades existing Leopard 2 hulls from stocks to new standards. As far as all upgrades are modular any existing Leopard 2 tank can be upgraded to the latest standard. Interestingly by 2022 new hulls of this tank can still be manufactured in Greece, as this country established local production for their Leopard 2A6HEL.